A day after Gilad Shalit's family received a letter from their son, Qassam rockets fired from the Gaza Strip slammed into the western Negev. At the same time, reports from Egypt claim that President Hosni Mubarak is pressuring Hamas to submit a new list of prisoners it seeks to free in exchange for Gilad Shalit. Yet speaking at a cabinet meeting on Tuesday, Ehud Olmert failed to mention the situation in Gaza and instead focused on the results of his recent visit to the United States. <laughs> Ministers arriving to attend the cabinet meeting, however, were less interested in the Prime Minister's recent visit to the United States, and several ministers spoke with the media about their views on the deteriorating situation in the Gaza Strip. I've been consistently against any calming situation in Gaza. I don't believe in it. Every day that we're waiting for making an operation in Gaza will cost us much more higher price than if we do it much, much earlier. The only thing can change my mind is if the real the Hamas will release Noam Shalit, uh, Gilad Shalit. If he will release Gilad Shalit, that could change my mind. Following the weekly cabinet meeting, Omer is expected to meet with Defense Minister Ahud Barak and Foreign Minister Tsipi Livni to discuss the situation in Gaza. The three contend that a confrontation with Hamas is inevitable, but have yet to agree on the timing of an Israeli operation.